9-11, what did it do to you? It made me realize my most important responsibility is to protect the country from attack. I mean, it changed just, you? Yeah, it changed me. It changed the country, too. And uh, it's, um, you know, I still have images of those days uh, vivid in my mind. And I told the American people I wouldn't tire and wouldn't falter, and I haven't. Knowing what we know now, could it have been prevented? Did, did someone have information? I, you know, those kind of questions are like, you know. Well, but we learned for the future. Well, we? we didn't know anything. I mean, I, we, nobody knew. Nobody predicted the guys were going to fly airplanes into major buildings in New York or the Pentagon. So we're, but we now have tools in place, if that's what you're asking, that make it more likely that's that we'll I mean. be able to, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. M more likely we'll have better information. That's why we want to be listening to the phone calls from known you know, Al-Qaeda operatives if they're calling in the United States to know why. You know what's interesting? In one of the probably most discouraging periods of the presidency was when at first, right after 9-11, uh, people were getting hauled up there to testify in Congress and say, well, why didn't the Bush administration connect the dots? And then we started putting tools in place uh, within the law to connect the dots. And then after we got far enough away from September the 11th, they said, why are you connecting the dots? You know? And so it's... <laughs> You're saying you were in a no-win? It sounds like it, but... Uh, no, I, 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 and I understand all this noise and all the rhetoric, but the job of the president is to stay focused on the goal, and the goal is to protect this country from getting attacked. And you ask, do I ever worry? Of course I do. I worry about an enemy that still wants to hurt us. Now, some out there are probably saying, oh, he's just making up. There's no enemy. Well, I promise you the next president is going to realize there's an enemy. Do you think... Uh... Or, or, or do you get hurt when a Colin Powell comes out and says things like, we shouldn't torture and we should close Guantanamo? No, I don't get hurt because we don't torture. So does it hurt you that Colin, who worked for you, is saying it? I don't think he said George Bush is tortured. I can't remember his quote, but I'm very comfortable with what we did and know it was necessary to protect the country. So there's nothing you've done in the area of treatment of prisoners that causes you any kind of pause no no everything we did was uh, you know had legal legal opinions behind it and, um, look you're sitting there you captured clay sheikh mohammed he's the guy that ordered the september the 11th attacks and uh we, we want to know what he knows in order to protect the united states of america and i got legal opinions that said whatever we were going to do was legal and I, my job is to protect you larry and i've, I've given it my all i've given it my yeah. all